Hey guys, so this is going to be the start of a buffalo plaid tumbler. I've never done one before. I just looked up how to do buffalo plaid on canvas, so I'm going to try to transfer it to a cup. So um, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm going to use. Some people use um, three colors, some people use four colors, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to do three. So the first one I'm using is this red by Rust-Oleum. Um, it's just, I don't know. Okay, it's called Sunrise Red. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. Then the second one is Cranberry, also by Rust-Oleum. I like Rust-Oleum paints the best. Um, they're just my favorite ones. My husband bought me this black, and it's Krylon, so you know I didn't buy it. But this is just going to be the black that we're going to use. So the first thing I did was spray paint my tumbler, and this is a 20 ounce straight chubby hog. Um, I've never used these before, but I kind of like them. I don't know if they fit in cup holders though, because they're kind of chubby, so I haven't tested that out. Um, so I let this dry overnight so the paint is like really, so the um, tape is not going to stick to the paint when I pull it off. So the first thing I did was make, where are my dots? I made like little, I don't know if you can see it. I lost it. I just made like a little dot. You can't really see it in the video. It's right there. You can kind of see it there. Um, I made a dot here and then one at the bottom too. So that's going to be my guide for my first piece of tape. So I'm just going to take my tape and um, I don't think I'm going to do the plaid on the bottom. I'm not sure. I might just put it there just in case. So just make sure it's straight. And I think I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do this because again, I've never done this one before. Going to tear part of it off. So, what I have seen people do so you have this piece of tape on there. That is going to be your first line. I'm just going to tear a bunch of pieces of tape so I have them out. So, with your next one, you're going to just lay it down right next to the other one. Just kind of get it as straight as you can without overlapping. So that one's down, but you're not going to leave this one. This is just going to be your spacer. So you're going to take your next one and put it right here. And then you're going to remove this one. So make sure this one is pushed down. So now you, your lines are going to be evenly spaced. Alright, so now you're going to put down another spacer. And hopefully it works out to where it's just enough lines. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so there's my next spacer. So you see all of your lines are going to be the same width apart. So we'll do another spacer. Gosh, my phone is buzzing. Alright, so that spacer is down. Remove this one.
spacer. And I'm going to try to splice all these videos together. I'm not really sure mm -hmm. if there's an app out there that can do that with long videos. If not, then it's going to be multiple videos that will be uploaded. So, I think this will work out good. Spacer. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, the last one might be off just a little bit. It's not quite the same width as this stuff section too. That's the other one, I don't think. But we'll try to make it even. So the last one on here is not going to be exactly even, but it's pretty close. So make sure your tape is down really good so you have all your lines. That is the one that's a little bit off, but I think it'll be fine. So now what I'm going to do is go spray paint it with the cranberry color. So... Make sure all my tape is down good so there's no secrets. Alright, I am going to go spray paint this really quick and then I will be back with my cranberry. Okay guys, so I spray painted it a cranberry. So now you're going to have stripes on it. So when this dries, I will go back and do the next step, which is going to be putting your lines this way. And then you're also going to put them this way again. So I will be back probably tomorrow after this fully dries and do the rest of it. Bye. All right, guys. So now we're back for step two. So the first step, you did vertical lines this way. And now we're going to flip it and do the tape horizontally like this. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Um, I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. So this is actually just going to be my... Um, guideline well if I can get my tape straight and if it isn't perfect it's probably not going to be noticeable all right so there is my first line and then I'm going to go So there is my first line that I can take off the guideline and then use that as my next guideline. Put my next one. Remove this one. And I will say, once you spray it this time, 
you are not going to remove your tape. You're going to leave your tape on there for the next step. Oh, my tape is wrinkling. Painter's tape is not supposed to be this sticky. Actually, I'm just going to do the bottom one. So, now you have it all taped off like this. So, what you're going to do now is pick your next color and spray it. My line is a little off here. So, what I am probably going to do um, is actually do a mixture of the cranberry and the black. Um, I'm probably going to spray it. Mm, probably spray it with the cranberry and then go back and like lightly spray it with this color. So I'm going to go spray that and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. All right. Okay guys. So now it's sprayed. This is a mixture of the cranberry and the um, black and you can, I don't know if you can see on video, you can already kind of tell the contrast here and you can tell like this is my darker line, this is my regular cranberry line. Um, so for the next step, we'll have to wait until after this dries, but you're going to leave this tape on here. Do not remove it because in the next step, you're going to go and tape over your, I think it's going to be your lighter color lines, which is where you had your tape before and just go down here, tape it down there. But I'll show you that in the next step. Okay guys, so I think this is dry enough, we'll see. So all you're going to do now, so now you have your paint still on this. And if you look closely, it's kind of hard to see on the video, I don't know if I can get it to focus, but you can see these are your original paint lines. So you're just going to go back with a piece of painter's tape down your original paint lines. So you're just going to find those, which if you did it like me, it's um, you're going to see the difference in your paint. So you're just going to match up those lines again. And you can see too, um, if you do do it on the bottom, you can see that it matches up with the original little triangles that you had. So I'm just going to go and do that real quick. Match them up. And just try to get it as close to the original paint lines as you can.
right, so now all your tape is on and you are going to go spray this black. So I'm gonna go spray this real quick and I will be back to take the tape off. Okay guys, so I'm back with my spray painted black cut, so I'm just gonna remove the tape. So hopefully it looks cool. We'll see. I'm gonna pull very slowly. And the paint that is peeling off is just from the other tape. It's not from the cup. this one. So now that all that tape is off, you're going to pull the other tape off. So. so that's what it looks like so far. Where is the end? There we go. And it's hard to find the ends on these once they're all spray painted. Y'all, I am really liking how this turned out. This is pretty cool. Alright. So, here you go. Ooh, I touch it. So, there is the finished one. And you can kind of tell a difference. Um, it's really hard to see on the video. But... So like this one is my original just cranberry and then the ones next to the black are cranberry mixed in with a little bit of a black. You can see it in person, it's just kind of hard to tell on a video, but some are darker, some are lighter, but I mean you can probably just do the same shade, it wouldn't really matter. But So yeah, that is the finished cup. Um, I might add some glitter into my epoxy when I put a layer of epoxy on it, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But I'm pretty happy with it. Hope you guys find this helpful.